Two Swedish companies, Thule and MIPS, have announced profit warnings due to unexpected drops in demand from retailers. A series of recent events makes me think that we come to a turning point in the bike industry. Welcome back. I usually don't do news, but this is an important moment, so I'll make an exception. Let's start with the profit warnings from Thule and MIPS. Thule states that retailers from all over the world have significantly reduced their orders this year. The Thule share has declined over 50% since January on the Stockholm Stock Exchange. MIPS is also affected by lower demand from retailers and specifically mentions an extreme drop in North America. MIPS is down over 65% since January. Here in Europe I've seen another trend that I haven't seen in a few years. And that is that there are sales on bikes to a larger extent. I usually keep track of Swedish and German companies, but it seems as if other markets are also affected by lower demand. In general, I've heard rumors that retailers currently have high inventory levels that need to be reduced in a declining market. Another trend? Well, it seems as if our vacation plans look somewhat different this year and we travel abroad again, which means sunbathing in the med is more enticing than riding bikes at home. I recently visited Trysil Bike Arena in Norway. It was not very crowded and the hotel staff also mentioned that people travel abroad now after the pandemic. Lastly, inflation and market turbulence make us spend less money on unnecessary things. A more local phenomenon here in Northern Europe is an energy crisis like we have never seen before. Germany has closed all of its nuclear power plants and decided it was a good idea to go to bed with Russia and rely on their supply of gas instead. This extremely naive mindset has rocked the entire economy of large parts of the EU as other countries are forced to sell our energy when Russia plugged the pipeline. Just to give you outsiders an example, a monthly electricity bill for a normal house here in Sweden can be as high as 1500 to 2000 euros a month this winter. And yes, we are closing down our nuclear power plants too. People are selling their houses and there will probably not be a new specialized S-Works this year. Well, that was my trend spotting, but I'm curious to find out what it looks like in other parts of the world too. So please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.